him. Ciao friends! Beth with Thimblehooks. Thanks for stopping by. So it's a nice hot July day in my studio so I'm going to do something that's really quick and that Evie wanted me to make. I promised her I'd make a bunch of toys. She wants plushies. I got plushies. I got plushies all over the place. But we're going to do my one of my favorites and she thought he was adorable. My emotional support pretzel. Isn't he so cute? He's just a doll. So I'm going to show you two different sizes. Really simple. Doesn't take more than about an hour. Really fast. I use this Red Heart Soft and this color is Toast. I've got two different sizes here. Everything's the same idea, just different stitch counts. So we're going to get started. And we're just going to make the big pretzel. Because once you get the big pretzel down, the little pretzel is simple. Using my Red Heart Soft in Toast, it's a four weight medium, but it wants a five millimeter hook as they've suggested. I'm using a four so I can keep nice tight stitches. And you might want to use a clicker if you want to keep your round round counts and a stitch marker. So we're going to make a magic circle. And if you're not familiar, I have a really quick tutorial that shows it the super simple way. It's only a couple minutes long. I show it very slowly. But there's my magic circle. Alright, so in my magic circle, I want to put in six single crochets. Easy peasy. One, two, three, four, five, and six. And now you do your magic part of your magic circle. Just pull that. Boom. And now we want to do an increase up to nine from six to nine. So we're going to do a single crochet in the first stitch. And I'm going to move my marker. And in the next stitch, we're going to do two. Two single crochets. And repeat that two more times. Single crochet. Two single crochets. And one more time. One single crochet. And an increase of two in the same stitch. Boom. I'm up to nine. That's where I want to be. So what I did for the big pretzel, these guys, I did keep track of my rounds on a clicker so that I knew how many rounds it would be so I can give you that information. And I also measured it. So what you can do now is 120 rounds of single crochet or go until it's anywhere between 24 and 25 inches long. So we're just going to go around and around and around and around and around. All the way around. And I made it to the end. See how fast that goes? It goes crazy fast. The one thing that you do want to do is go through the middle of your magic circle and grab that tail. You're going to want to use that later and you won't be able to find it. So grab it. Pull it out here so it's actually on the in on the outside. It won't be buried. You're going to use that to attach these parts later. So easy peasy. So there you go. There's the very beginning. Ends up being right in here. There's the very beginning. Just keep making single crochet rounds of nine until you have 120 rounds total or approximately 24 to 25 inches long. And the trick with the big one is that you want to have little tiny pieces of your stuffing ready and you're just going to stuff a little bit as you go. Probably every five to eight rounds or every inch or so and don't overstuff. Don't overstuff or you won't fold nicely. So I'm just going to keep right on going until he's 25 inches long. And this is going to be my very last stitch because he's super long now. 
maybe about 25 inches long or so right in there but I did 120 rounds and that's what he measured out to just gonna fasten this off I'm gonna cut my yarn I don't need any more of that I have one tail here and I'll have another tail here so if you wanted to put his eyes on to have him look like this with the cute little face now would be the time to do so and I do that right down at the end here so here's how we put on our eyes I think he is adorable <laughs> he's too funny he's too funny so put on our safety eyes now it's a tight squeeze get in there but that's why we do this at the end all right got my safety eyes on they're all secure I'm just gonna take a teeny little piece of my stuffing and finish this last part see how tiny these little pieces are that we're doing a little bit at a time do not overstuff your little guy there you go he's stuffed now this end is secure we just have to sew this one up we're gonna cinch him shut all right so now you just get out your needle weaving in our ends just pull this through thread our needle and cinch this shut so we're just going to through like that back and forth like a drawstring so that when you pull it it will close up There I have it all woven in and we're just going to cinch that shut like that and now it's secure. So you have two ends that basically look the same. The trickiest part probably of this whole project is twisting a pretzel. If you don't know how to twist a pretzel we're going to learn right now. Take, take your pretzel piece like this, hold up to the top and bring it down. So it kind of looks like a really sloppy heart, but then we want to twist and twist. So now you have a twist in the middle. So we'll do that one more time. So we've got our long one. I'm going to make him look like a little heart. Cross over so it looks kind of like a pretzel, but we want to twist it one more time. And now he's a twisted pretzel. Now all we have to do is fasten these ends together. However you want it to do it. Just gonna pull that one through. And pull this one through. So there we go, he's twisted. You want to take both of these ends and just keep attaching everything in ways that don't show. And you just keep going to attach these together in ways that don't show however you want to. And it will end up looking like this or like this or like this or like this. So here I did the same guy, exactly the same, except I made him a dipped pretzel. I just had a remnant of this kind of speckly stuff. It looks almost like cotton candy. I think that might have been the name of it. I don't remember because I lost the band years ago. I just had a little remnant left. So what you do on this guy, if you wanted to make it a dipped pretzel instead of a solid brown pretzel, like this guy is a solid brown pretzel with no eyes. This one is a dip pretzel. You do the first 25 of your 120 is the dip, which is this part right here. And then the next 30 is the pretzel right here. And then the rest, which would be the next 70, is right here. And we put on eyes and attach them. 
I didn't put his mouth on yet, but I'll put a little smiley face on him. And I just love him so much. He is so cute. So cute. So this little guy decided to do salt. I didn't have any little tiny beads that I thought were appropriate, nor did I want to sew on a bunch of beads. But I did buy these itty bitty little pom poms a long time ago by mistake. I thought they were way bigger. They're just teeny. They're itty bitty little pom poms. So I just glued those on. And now he looks like he's salt pretzel. So I thought that was fun. All right, to make a little one, it's even easier than this guy. Same hook, same yarn, same magic circle, same six single crochets in your magic circle, but then you don't do an increase. It's just six single crochets all the way around until this is about 16 inches long or about 80 rounds. And again with this one, since this yarn is a little bit fatter, it made, made it a little bit bigger. Same with the twisting. Twisting is exactly the same. Sew it together so he's super cute. And at the dip on this one would be 15. The starting point is 15. You do 15 rounds of your pretzel color. And then all the rest, which was another 50, all the way around to finish Mr. Pretzel. And there you go. So thanks for stopping by. Thank you for supporting my small business. Please subscribe to Thimblehooks and stop back soon. Thanks. Bye.